So, here we are again, and this time it is K nearest neighbors. And I import pyplot from matplotlib, I import random and seed from random, import mean from statistics and square root from math. Then I made a little class called point. It's just a container for an x and y value. I could probably just as well have used the tuple, but just I'm more used to having dot x dot y as uh, grabbing values rather than using zero and ones that I would use with a tuple. Like down here, the test point with one, test point zero. Then I have two functions I see as far as I remember, I don't actually use create red point, create blue point. Uh, and they make a. Um, <coughs> sorry. They create the red points are clustered in the top right with times 3 plus 6, and the blue points are clustered in the bottom left with times 3 plus 1. Uh, and then we have the function I actually use, which is create red points and create blue points. Uh, so they are given number of points, and then points array, and red point turn to point array. So you can see here, point array dot append point random. So really what I should have just done here is dot append, create red point, create blue point. But yeah, it is part of this. Um, then we have the seed is given to 12, just so I just so the randomness was always contained instead of having constantly randomizing sets I could just as well not have used the seed then we have number points I want and how high k is uh, and then here I use the function create red points, create blue points <clears throat> and then because I'm not using number arrays for once uh, and of course I chose a bad time to not use number arrays I have to split up the x and y values, so that's what I do here, I create the arrays for it, and then I use the for loop to split up the x and y values. Then I have a test point here, which is uh, 4.6. Um, then we have two other arrays, which is the red distance and blue distance. And then we have a for loop here, where it appends the distance between the various points in the arrays, and um, <clears throat> And at this point. So this is just the distance between the points. Uh, let's scroll out so you can see the entirety. Yep. So then I sort them. Uh, then I create two near arrays, which I call the K red nearest, K blue nearest. And then I append the, dis the five closest distances of the red and blue. Um, then I print out the uh, two arrays, k nearest of the top right followed by bottom left cluster, you'll see that in a moment, near array, k nearest, and this basically just to, um, why I add in, as you can see here, I just add in a little string saying blue or red, and it's just based on the two distance arrays, as you can see if k nearest 0 is above k blue nearest, then it append blue, and then I make the nearest blue equal to the furthest uh, of the five nearest blues, then for 1.25, and the same I do for red, uh, check it, is it that red the nearest one, then append red, and do the same with making the closest red equals to the furthest of the nearest reds, times 1.25, and then I sort them again, and this runs k times. So yeah, uh, and that's also why I'm making the nearest, just so I sort it into the back, uh, the last spot of the array, so I can just keep on looking at, is the two zero, uh, the two um, uh, values at the zero position of the arrays, so I can just do this in a for loop. As you can see here, I was trying to do just if else statements because I didn't really think too much about it. Um, but then I uh, overheard some others and yeah, why not just remove the nearest and keep on looking at the zero uh, spot. Then we have final arrays just so I could see the arrays at the end. Uh, and then the color of five nearest points and then we plot it here. So let's run it. So you can see here, nice little figure. 
green point is the test point, we have the red cluster and we have the blue cluster. And then down here in the console, can use the top right followed by bottom left cluster. So the top one here is the red one and the bottom one is the blue one. So as we can see here, the pattern would be blue, red, red, blue, red. And finally, it's after selection, as mentioned, just so I could see uh, the end result. And color of five nearest points, blue, red, red, blue, red. As we saw up here, it should be blue, red, red, blue, red. So yeah, uh, seems like that is working nicely. Now let's try and increase the points a bit. So let's say 30 points and the 10 nearest neighbors. Okay, so now we have a lot more of clustering around. And <laughs> the arrays here, quite a few more numbers. So, and of course the, well, the print value isn't great but it should be fine. So in this case, it, should, it is, as according to my thing, blue, red, blue, red, red, blue, blue, red, red, red. All right, so let's see. So blue, obviously, and then it's, yeah, it's red, and then it's blue, and then it is red, red, and then it is blue, blue, and then it is red, red, red. Yeah. So, at least if my distance calculation is correct, which I I would say it is. Let's see, uh, x red point minus test point zero multiplied by x point array minus test point zero. And then, this is point one times, yeah. So basically what I'm doing here is I am multiplying the uh, distance with itself to always have it as a positive and since the distances it doesn't matter to square root it in this case I did import square root because I was expecting to use it for distance originally but since all these distances it shouldn't really matter to square root it because I'm just looking at the value directly I'm not using it for more than just looking at the value so, since it's multiplied by itself, um, square rooting it is not needed since the... Uh, even if I square rooted it, it will still be the same rankings. It'll just be lower numbers. Um, so, instead of wasting time square rooting it, since it will still be the same end result, the value is just higher. I do not square root it. I simply just multiply it with itself. So yeah, that's uh, that's it for K nearest neighbors.